Hello, welcome to TW2013. I'm here once again with my 2006 save, and we are going to get into Friday Night Smackdown, the second to last Smackdown before SummerSlam. Sorry, I just had to drink good water there. Let's get to going. This thing opens up the show with a promo, basically saying, all these years I've wanted this fight against Taker, all of these years I've wanted this fight, and all of these years... I know he's known in his heart he can beat The Undertaker. Christian cuts a promo saying he is looking past Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is his past, and he's looking towards his future in his main event match tonight with Rey Mysterio. Mr. Kennedy beats Kevin Nash with a drive-by kick. Um, after the match, he challenges Scott Hall for next week's SmackDown. Followed up by Undertaker promo, basically saying that Sting has no chance at SummerSlam, and at SummerSlam, Sting will rest in peace. The Age of the Fall defeat the New Age Outlaws when Jimmy Jacobs defeated Billy Gunn by submission with the end of time, and that was a very good match compared to what I thought it would do. Jimmy Jacobs and Seth Rollins showed great, showed excellent chemistry working together. That is great. Age of the Fall. After the match. Well, yeah, after that match, Brian Kendrick and Paul London had a promo on Nitro Mercury saying that they're not going to back down at SummerSlam. They're going to retain the tag team titles. Jericho cuts a promo about being beat down by Benoit last week and how at SummerSlam he's going to have his vengeance. Eric Young defeats Hide Hideo Itami in a match that I thought would do worse, so good good for them. Um, after the match, he gets attacked by Alex Shelley, which leads into a bad thing with Scott Hall accepting... Mr. Kennedy's uh, um, match for next week, uh, SmackDown, which will probably be pretty bad, I would probably imagine. But hey, you never know. You never know. Samoa Joe wins a handicap match against Paul Birchall and the New Generation, who is also aligned with Christian. Um, Samoa Joe cuts a promo saying. Tonight I beat two people, but Randy, at SummerSlam, I only need to beat one to become the world champion. Which, then we cut to the backstage area where Bobby Lashley has attacked Batista backstage, and they are just fighting it out. Leading to the main event, which I thought would do worse, so I'm happy that it got to be. Um, and a match that great ac action, a good crowd. Rey Mysterio defeated Christian in 1653 by pinfall with a quick cradle. After the match, Randy Orton cuts a promo saying that at SummerSlam, he's right, that Samojo was right earlier. You only have to beat one person to become the world champion, but that person is Randy Orton, and that person is better than those two men combined times 10. And that Randy Orton's going to walk out of SummerSlam, which he claims is his show, as it is the show he won his first world title at, and that he is going to walk out the champ. The show got a B. Compared to last week, it didn't do too well, which got an A, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. I had another drink of water there. We're going to see what the email was. Okay. And we will be back next time for more TEW.